they would just make jokes and say, well, we had to get a pretty one, so we had to step outside to get a pretty one in the family. Growing up, Lisa Wright always knew she belonged. You knew you were adopted, right? Yeah, my mom told me, and your mommy loved you. She was really young and she knew she couldn't take care of you. I wanted a baby so bad, that's why your mom let me take care of you. You weren't abandoned, this was just the best thing for you. Her adoption records were sealed and Lisa never tried to find her biological family. It's done in complete secrecy, so she had no idea who my birth parents were. So when Lisa's son suggested she take a DNA test at age 54 to find out her genetic heritage, she didn't expect it would change her life. So you take this DNA test and then you find out you have a family match. I get an alert and it says, this person is your uncle. So I just kind of reached out and said, if you're open to it, I would love to chat with you to see what all of this means. A few days later, they spoke on the phone. You know, my heart's like turning flips. He goes, you know, tell me about yourself. What do you know? So I said, well, I was born on December the 10th, 1964. I was told that my biological mom was very young when she had me. She moved to LA because she wanted to be in Hollywood. And then he just stopped me right there. So then I'm thinking, okay, here it comes. He's gonna say, don't ever call me again. He goes, Lisa. You're my niece. We've been looking for you. We've all been looking for you. And the surprises didn't stop there. I say, well, where is my mother? And he goes, oh, she lives in LA. And I went, oh my God, because so do I. I Google her on my computer and her picture pops up. I just could not believe it. Like for the first time ever, other than looking at my son, for the first time, I'm looking at somebody who looks like me. Five minutes later, Lisa got another call. A voice on the other end says, is this my daughter? Oh. And, and then I just went, oh my God, is this my mother? She goes, yes, sweetie, this is your mom. It was just the most indescribable feeling. I'm talking to my mother. Like I'm, I'm talking to my mother. After more than 50 years of separation, Lisa and her mother, Lynn Moody, didn't waste any time making plans. She goes, well, when can I see you? And I'm like, whenever you want, right? <laughs> and she goes, how about tomorrow? For Lynn, who never had more children, it was a reunion she dreamed of, but never expected. So when <laughs> she was born, they covered my face, my eyes, so that I couldn't see her but I could hear her cry. All I could say was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. And as a mother, you never, ever, ever forget. During those 50 years, all I did was try to learn how to live with it. I didn't know if she was hungry, if she was alive, if she was happy, if she was adopted. When I found out that she was my daughter, at that moment, it was like I was giving birth because I lost my legs, I was on the floor in a fetal position, screaming and crying. So I didn't know how deep that hole was. I didn't know how deep that hole was. Not only did Lynn finally have her daughter, she learned she had a grandson too. <laughs> and in a final twist, fit for Hollywood, Lisa discovered she'd actually grown up watching her actress mother on TV. I grew up watching my mother on TV and didn't even know it. So that is insane. So that's my mama. That was our must see TV. We all sat down and watched That's My Mama every week. And who knew? No idea. And you know, it's like, you oh, would she show That's My Mama. And then, like, and That's My Mama. <laughs> Especially around Mother's Day, what would your takeaway be for, for someone? Life is full of surprises sometimes. So hang in there no matter what your circumstances are. Be open to miracles, be open to surprises, and keep the faith. Wow. I'm telling you, we talked and talked, and I had a radio show. I was like, I can't be late. I got to go. But they are just phenomenal. And since their reunion, Lisa has actually connected with family members uh, from her biological father's side, too. She's discovered she has four sisters, family members. And, yes, uh, you guys may recognize Miss Moody. She was in Roots. Yeah. So, I mean, oh she's. Oh, my gosh. 
She's a trailblazer. And I grew up watching That's My Mama. With oh, the, the yes, Davis. yes. Can you imagine you're watching TV not realizing that you were watching your mother? That's and right. then the show That's, called, my, That's mama. my Mama. That's, that's crazy. Crazy. On like 16 wow. levels. And they're so beautiful and they just. It's what beautiful. a terrific story. Yeah. Thanks Good so much. Thank you for that. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.